guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today is a very interesting video. I never thought I would be doing this, but today I'm gonna to be comparing the new Wet n Wild The 40 palette and the James Charles palette. Now there's some tea on this. I actually saw this Wet n Wild palette on Twitter, and right when I saw this palette, I was like, oh my god, it looks exactly like the James Charles palette, like to the T. So I wasn't gonna get it at first, okay? And then I, I was like, I have to get it, and I wanna compare the shades and everything about this palette. So apparently there was some tea that James Charles was gonna sue Wet n Wild and that kind of stuff. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but today I'm gonna be doing one eye with the James Charles palette and the other eye with the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm also going to be going in and swatching each row. I'm going to do one row the Wet n Wild palette and the other row the James Charles palette to see if the shades look similar. And then I'll go ahead and decide, I'll look at the colors, kind of keep track, and decide which ones I think go together and which ones are dupes because there's just... I don't even know. But I will say I have already looked at the um, Wet n Wild palette and when I looked at it I was like... Compared to the James Charles palette, I was like, wow, that looks like really identical. And then I was kind of digging in and I was like, I've seen better dupes. Like I've seen dupes where they copy the packaging and they copy where the shades are to the T, like same format as the palette and same shades, like completely the same shades. Now this, it's not completely the same. Um, there are some shades that are in this palette and not in the James Charles palette. So we'll get into all that, but I just want to start off by swatching each row to show you guys like a comparison, but I will show you what they look like next to each other. So this is the Wet n Wild palette. Right away, comparing the size with the Wet n Wild palette in the box, they are the exact same size comparing it in the box. Now when you take the Wet n Wild palette outside of the box, it's actually a touch smaller. And this one has one more shade than the James Charles palette does. So this is what the Wet n Wild palette looks like. Super unique packaging. If the texture of the both palettes are the same, but as you can see, one the James Charles palette is just a touch bigger, but that's like, that's like whatever, you know? Um, but width wise, they're exactly the same. Like, it's in the texture and just the feel of both of these palettes feel the same. The James Charles palette feels a little bit heavier than the Wet n Wild one, but you know, whatever. And then also, the Wet n Wild palette retails for, let me see. So, the Wet n Wild palette retails for $19.99, I believe. Yeah, it retails for $19.99, and the James Charles palette retails for $39. So right there, you're saving about $19. It's like $19 in a penny that you're saving. But as far as right now, the Wet n Wild palette is only available online on their website. So you do have to pay shipping and stuff, and it ended up coming to a total of either like $26 or $28. So you're still saving a decent amount. You're saving about like... 10 ish dollars compared to the James Charles palette. So there is a pretty big price difference, um, and the Wet n Wild palette has one more shade than the um, James Charles palette does. But let me just compare them next to each other now that I got the prices out of the way because that was one thing Wet n Wild said that they were gonna do was make it cheaper. So hopefully you guys can see this okay, but the top palette up here is the James Charles palette, and the one down here on the bottom is the Wet n Wild palette. So super similar right when you look at it, especially from a distance. They look almost identical, especially looking at it on camera right now. They almost look exactly the same. But when you look at it up close, it's really, there's a few shades that are like off that make it not the same, you know what I mean? Um, but so yeah, that's what it looks like from a distance next to each other. They look very similar, almost all the shades are in the same spot and that kind of stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and swatch each row. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll swatch this row with this row, this row with this row, so on and so forth. And then I'll show you guys which shades I think are dupes. And yeah, I haven't even swatched the Wet n Wild palette yet. I don't know what the shadows feel like, if they're any good or anything like that. So I'm super excited to see the formula and see if there's really a difference or anything. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild and James Charles palette swatched right on top of each other. This one's James Charles and this one's the Wet n Wild. I will go ahead and say that the Wet n Wild 
matte shadows did feel a little bit softer than the James Charles palette. As you can see, this one's swatched like super patchy compared to this one. Um, but right off the bat, I think the three most identical shades are these three right here. So this one's number five, number six, and number seven. I feel like look the most identical. The rest of the shades... They're similar, but not the similar, you know? This one's more gold, and this one's more, like, peachy. And then, yeah. And then this one right here is spark, like, just sparkly, and this one's more, like, shimmery. But I'd say so far, these three are dupes. The rest, not really. Okay, so again, the top row is the James Charles palette, and the bottom row is the Wet n Wild palette. Right away, this row is extremely similar. The only difference is these two shades right here. Everything else is pretty much a dupe. As you can see, it's pretty much identical. This one looks more black in the James Charles palette, even though it's like brown, um, but it looks more black compared to this one. But otherwise, all the other shades are dupes. I really just say that these two aren't. Okay, so I knew the third row would be kind of tricky because the James Charles palette has like those bigger pans in the middle row. Um, so the Wet n Wild palette has one more extra shade, but these are the ones that I think are dupes. I think that this one and this one are dupes, this shade and this shade, and the blacks are dupes. But honestly, I like the black formula in the Wet n Wild palette more. I was going to say that this one and this one are dupes, but honestly, this one's a lot more red. Um, so I really wouldn't consider it a dupe, but so yeah. Alright, so this is the fourth row. And again, the top row is the James Charles palette, the bottom row is the Wet n Wild palette, and I say that the only dupes are the yellows, the greens, and these pinks. Everything else are not dupes. Um, this is too light to match that one. These aren't even close. This one's a shimmer and this one's a matte. This one's matte and this one's a shimmer. So the only dupes are these two, these two, and those two. Okay, so this is the last and final row. Again, the top row is the James Charles palette, and the bottom row is the Wet n Wild palette. Now, this one's tricky because there's, like, multiple dupes, I feel like. I feel like these three blues right here look very similar. I feel like these three purples look pretty similar. Um, these two look similar, but this one's more vibrant, and that one's a little bit more, like deep I guess but then these two look similar but that one's a little bit deep and this one's more vibrant so really this one's the most vibrant one and these two are a little bit more muted so that's why I really don't want to consider them like full-on dupes the only full-on dupes I'd say in this row would probably be the pinks and the blues the purples I'm kind of iffy about I really can't decide because these two on camera look similar but in person they're completely different so I'd say that looking at them in person, the blues, these three, three blues, which I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if one blue is maybe like shimmery and the other one's matte or something. I'd say that three, these three blues right here are dupes and the pinks are dupes. The purples, they just look kind of similar. Okay, I lied. This one right here is actually a matte. So I'm not going to consider them dupes, but I will consider these two dupes because they're both shimmers. This one's a matte, so scratch what I said before. Okay, so now the whites aren't in the same spot, but I swatched them next to each other and those are dupes as well. Now, don't get me wrong, there are shades in here that are very similar, but I just wanted to go ahead and pick out all the shades that I felt like were exact dupes that you couldn't tell the difference between them and then create an eyeshadow look with it. So I have all the shades that I thought were dupes written down so I can do an eyeshadow look and see how similar they really look on the eyes. But I counted out how many dupes I have and I have 21 exact dupes. So that's pretty much 50% of the palette are dupes and the other 50 aren't dupes. So, but so yeah, let's just get started. Like I said, I'm only going to do an eyeshadow look with all the shades that are actually dupes because I want to see how they perform on the eyes and if they look similar at all on the eyes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids like I always do. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and just set my eyeshadow primer with a little bit of powder. I'm just using the It Cosmetics by by Pores powder because it's what I have next to me right now. Okay, so now I am going to be using the same brush for each shade, but I am going to go ahead and be wiping my brush off after each use with like these makeup brush cleaning wipes. 
Um, but I'm gonna take the first shade I'm gonna take is the first shade from the second row. The shade and the shade and putting it into my crease. Okay, so I'm gonna do Wet n Wild on this side and James Charles on this side and hope I don't accidentally mix them up. I'm gonna take number four from the James Charles palette and number five from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm gonna take that same brush I was just using, clean it off and put those shades in my crease. If you guys could tell, I was saying like one, two, three, one, two, three for each row. So if I said number four and I was pointing at this color, I meant like number four in that row. Hopefully that makes sense. But now I'm going to take number three from the second row of both palettes with a little bit of a different brush. This one's like more fluffy and not as dense. And I'm also going to put that shade into my crease. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade number six from the James Charles palette and number seven from the Wet n Wild palette. And these shades are in the third row and I'm gonna take that same brush I used for that like pinky kind of color and this shade is gonna go into my outer corner. All right, next I'm gonna take the shade number seven from the White and Wild palette in the first row and number seven from the James Charles palette in the first row and that shade is gonna go onto my lid. I am gonna go ahead and cut my crease a little bit and I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm not gonna cut my crease all the way. I'm just gonna do it kind of in on the inner half so I can kind of open up the eyelid space and also make those shades pop. So what I like to do is just place that there and then kind of like look up and we'll kind of leave a mark where you should put the concealer. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of pat with the edges just so it doesn't end up leaving like a harsh line. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with a flat shader brush and go ahead and apply those shades to my lid. Now packing this shade on using the James Charles palette, I'm actually having issues with it. It's like the Wet n Wild palette went on so smooth and then the James Charles palette was going on kind of patchy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little fluffy brush again and I'm going to go back in with that brown shade which was number 7 in the Wet n Wild palette and number 6 in the James Charles palette and just kind of touch up that outer corner and just deepen it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with the shade number seven in the first row from the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm just gonna spray my brush a little bit because I feel like I want it to pop a little bit more and look more like foiled. Like the James Charles side looks a little bit more foiled and that's what I want with this side. Now, now they look the same. Now that I like dampened my brush, it made it look more foiled and a little bit more glittery. It looks the same now. 
Alright, so I went with a more natural look because I noticed that a lot more of the dupes were natural shades rather than colorful shades. I do think I want to add a pop of color on my lower lash line after I finish the rest of my makeup, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and do my lower lash line and tell you guys oh, what I think of these palettes. And so yeah. Okay, so I finished up the rest of my face, but I went ahead and I counted like how many dupes there actually are. There's actually 19 dupes, not 21. I counted wrong. So it's 19 exact dupes. So it's still about 50-50, no matter what. But anyways, I just wanted to put that out there, so you know, just to correct myself. But for my lower lash line, like I said, I was gonna do like a pop of color. So I think I'm gonna use number seven from the Wet n Wild palette and also number seven from the James Charles palette. And I'm just gonna put that on my lower lashes. So this side Wet n Wild and this side James Charles. Just taking a little small shader brush. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little fluffy blender brush like this one, and I'm just gonna go over that and smoke it out. Now I'm gonna highlight my inner corner of my brow bone, and I'm gonna take this shade right here which is number two in the second row with both palettes. And that's gonna be my inner corner and my brow bone highlight. Alright, now I'm just going to add some lower lash mascara. Alrighty guys, so that completes this look. Now my thoughts on these palettes. Do I think that they're 100% dupes? No, I don't. Do I think that they are extremely similar? Yes, I do. The format is almost identical. Some of the shades are exact dupes, but the reason why I'm not calling this dupe, calling these palettes 100% dupes, is because for example, the best way I can put this is right here, there's a lime green shade in this palette and it's matte, no shimmer, nothing. Well, if you go into the Wet n Wild palette, there is no matte lime green shade and if you look in that spot, it's a shimmery green. So if you're that kind of person where you're looking for all the exact same shades that are in this James Charles palette, you're not gonna get that with the Wet n Wild palette. You're only gonna get about 50% of the same shades in the James Charles palette. That's why I'm not calling it a dupe. Now, if there were like 80% dupes in the Wet n Wild palette compared to the James Charles palette, then I'd call it a dupe. But where it's 50-50, I can't because just some of the shades aren't even relatively close to each other. And yeah, some of the shades that people want in this palette aren't in this palette. Okay, so now formula-wise, honestly, I feel like I like the formula for Wet n Wild a little bit better. Just something about their shadows, I just love them. Their mattes are silky smooth, their shimmers are just like... I don't know, just Wet n Wild shadows are so good in general. If you've tried any of their little palettes, this palette feels pretty much the same exact way where, as you guys saw in some of the swatches, the James Charles palette, some of the shades just weren't the best when it came to swatching, especially while I was swatching it and I wasn't recording. I noticed some of the shades, I was like, wow, the Wet n Wild one almost looks a little bit better and more pigmented and not as powdery. So now I'm not trying to bash this palette because this is a great palette as well. Now if I had to pick between these two, I couldn't because there's reasons why I like this palette and there's reasons why I like this palette. Now if you are on a budget and you don't feel like spending $39 but you have an extra 20 bucks to spare, get this palette, 100%. It's so worth it. I love the formula. The colors are beautiful. But if you're looking for a specific shade in this palette, for example, that lime green or um, this really pretty like bluish purple, I wouldn't get the Wet n Wild palette because the Wet n Wild palette doesn't have that. So honestly, I couldn't decide between the two. They're both really, really good and I don't know. 
I can't decide. I just know that the Wild n Wild one's cheaper. I like the formula a little bit better, but I love these palettes for different reasons. I like some of the shades in the um, James Charles palette more than I do the Wet n Wild palette. I don't think you could replace this palette over this one because like I said, different shades, different texture. It really just depends on what you're looking for, for colors and for formula. If you're looking more for formula, Wet n Wild. If you're looking more for color, probably the James Charles because it has more rainbowy type of colors. If you want to use this palette for more of a rainbow look, I'd get this palette. If you're looking for something that's more just like some shimmer, some pops of color, and you want silky formula, get this palette. Alrighty guys, so that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to know what I used on the rest of my face, makeup wise, like foundation, concealer, that kind of stuff, be sure to go follow my Instagram because I always post the details of all my makeup looks. Um, especially after I do a tutorial, I'm always posting the details. So, go follow my Instagram if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know if there's some shades in here that you thought were dupes that maybe I didn't pick up on and that kind of stuff. If you're new to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!